Well, hey friends, uh, hi, <laughs> how are you? Um, it is Monday and it's feeling like a Monday for me. Um, I was really excited for today to begin, but cause it kicks off October, which is my absolute favorite month. Um, and I woke up with like a lot of excitement and promise. Um, I actually woke up early today, quarter after six, and I was like, oh, I'm just like wide awake and ready to go. I got up, I had my quiet time. Anyways, we just, we didn't have a great morning, and I'm feeling really depleted. Um, so I'm just kind of working on remedying that. I had some water, I put on some essential oils, I um, put them on like my wrists and the back of my neck. Uh, I did... I have a blend I call my mama blend and it is um, a 2% dilution of balance from doTERRA um, and then one drop of motivate um, I put some balance and tangerine in my diffuser which is in the other room but um, and I had a banana almost a whole banana anyways I <sighs> I'm hoping today will be a better day. We haven't done any school and that's contributing to my mom failness, I feel like. <sighs> Cause we need to do school and it's going on lunchtime. So I'll have to do school after lunch, which is okay, but it's, I wanted a full day of school and I just couldn't get it together today. Just couldn't do it. Um, and it's these sort of days where I feel like I should just put my kids in school because mommy is, if I can't get it together now, how will I get it together once the baby is here? So I don't know. And then at the same time, I remind myself, my children are four and seven. Aubrey's a seven year old in third grade and Colt is four in kindergarten. Like they're young still. Um, and they're both doing really well um, despite my failure as a mother <laughs> um, and I know I'm not it's just you know sometimes there's just those days and I almost thought to myself gosh here I am kicking off vlogmas and I'm having the most depressing video uh, do I share this bit of my life that's like ugly and frustrating and stuff and I was like yes like why why not because Sometimes we just see like such a polished up view of people's lives and um, I always try and be very real with like my posts on Instagram and here and stuff to show like they don't have anything together. Um, I just don't. Um, so anyways, I don't know. I'm sorry if this is depressing you today and you were here for like a really raw raw sort of day um, it's just not always the case and I get run down sometimes and depleted and um, things are not always great here so I don't know try and get in a good frame of mind for the rest of the day and we'll get some schooling done and we'll do some reading and I'm not gonna beat myself up about all this because this is life and some days are going to be like stellar productive awesome feeling raw raw go conquer the world days and then there's going to be days that are just like you are dragging to make it through 10 minutes of the day <laughs> um and that's a day that's what today is for me so i'm just gonna roll with it and do the best that we can because i don't want to wallow in this space I do want to like rise above my feelings and rise above this depletedness I mean that's really the only way to describe it I just feel depleted um, I want to rise above that I don't want to wallow there because that is not that's not the abundant life and that is not who I am and that's not what I want to represent and that's not how I want to live but not every day is going to be super stellar so Anyways, happy Vlogmas. <laughs> uh, happy October. Um, here's something so random. I wanted to show this on Instagram, but like I can't really take a good picture of it. You'll see why. But look at my new pop socket. 
Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. I got it on Amazon. Um, I love a pop socket. If you don't know what a pop socket is, it, oh, there it goes. It comes off your phone like this, and then you can hold your phone like this. Best thing ever. Well, hello. <laughs> it's me again. Um, it is several hours later. It looks like it's kind of the same time frame because I'm in the same room kind of in the same position but I'm in a different seat <laughs> um I'm at my desk uh the afternoon went all it went better it went oh good okay um we did do school we did a bit of a shortened version of school we didn't do morning basket we didn't do any reading um and I didn't do history Monday and Wednesday are history days but the lesson was very involved today and I just, I didn't have the capacity for it. I was so tired, I was falling asleep. I haven't napped in a while, at least a week or so, which seems weird, but um, I was so tired. And I even had a coffee this morning um, that I was falling asleep as Aubrey was doing her language arts. Part of the thing was just that she had to write a story with lots of details and then give an oral presentation of the story and it was literally as she was speaking just listening with my eyes closed partly because her voice is just very soothing and the other part I couldn't get my eyes open so she had some independent work to do um, she had a quiz for math and then um, her math lesson so that was all on the computer so it's independent for her which is so nice um, and I just went and took a nap and I slept for a solid half hour and I would have kept sleeping but she came in and um, was going to tell me how she did and I heard the door open so it woke me up which is okay. I'm still kind of tired but um, yeah so the kids went outside and they played for a while. I've done some laundry um, and now I'm just at my desk. And the funny thing about waking up earlier today is that I keep thinking I have keep thinking it's like an hour ahead of the time that it should that it actually is so I got a bit of time to kill before I start dinner prep dinner will be easy tonight um so I think I'm just gonna sit here at my desk and do a little bit of Christmas planning maybe I'm not really sure I'm sort of twiddling my thumbs on what to do because <sighs> I'm not feeling like doing anything and I want to pl Christmas plan when I'm in the mode for it I don't know. I'm so sorry. This vlog is ridiculous. <laughs> so I thought I'd just kind of show you a little look at my planner this week. Um, I got some things to do. Um, so I'm having a Scentsy party on the 28th of October, which I'm excited about. Um, we are officially going on our trip to Nova Scotia. So I need to get all the prep work done for that. I make lists and all kinds of things um, and we need to figure out where we're gonna stay and everything like that so um, I need to get my lists underway um, I need to get out in my garden and harvest the lavender we actually had snow yesterday um, I've got lots of tomatoes still out there and they're red and I don't know so but anyways I have lavender that I really want to harvest and get dried out um, tomorrow we have some errands in the afternoon I need to I have a Cairo appointment to return a book to the library I need to get gas um, I want to get my layoff planning done I started to do that today um, Wednesday I've got a midwife appointment my simplified planner is supposed to arrive sometime this week kind of once things cross the border I lose a lot of the tracking and it hasn't updated since the 28th so it could be in my um, post office box for all I know I need to get our clothes ready to consign. Um, these are the things that I need to order for the kids for the winter. Um, Thursday, it's payday. We're going to do a crockpot dinner. I'm going to do a video on how I do um, my whole chicken in the crockpot. And then I'm going to make, I'm essentially going to do three meals with one chicken. Um, I'm going to make and can my applesauce. I have all of this stuff that I need to meal prep. Like right now would be a really great time to work on a lot of that, but I'm just not feeling it, so I'm not gonna force myself. Um, let's see. 
So on the weekend, I really need to get my garden ready for the winter um, and then get our yard ready as well. So like my neighbors are draining their pool right now. We need to, um, I don't know, get all the yard toys cleaned up and the furniture put away and all that kind of stuff because it's just getting too cold to be out there. And like I said, it snowed, so it's, it's coming. Um, and then Monday is Canadian Thanksgiving. So I'm going to do some Thanksgiving prep getting our outfits together. Um, I'm going to make a banana cream pie, which I'll actually probably do. I'll just have to look at the directions, but I need to allow enough time to set. So I might just do that Monday morning. Um, I'm going to attempt to make rolls as well. And I'm going to, on Friday, do um, a Thanksgiving craft with the kiddos. So that's a little bit of what the week looks like. Okay, so I decided to dig into my Erin Condren meal planner, and I decided to do a little prep. Um, so I just laid out a meal plan for the week. So yesterday we went out to dinner. Tonight we're going to do barbecued chicken, roasted cauliflower, and roasted potatoes. Um, Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. Wednesday is going to be the whole chicken. Um, I have a midwife appointment that afternoon, so that'll work perfect. I'm going to do some... Um, whole wheat raisin bread from 100, 100 days of real food. It's a simple recipe. It turns out really delicious. Um, we'll have beans and applesauce. And then I actually have a ham in the fridge that we got for free with our grocery order. And I don't have room in my freezer to freeze it. And next week we leave on our trip and we'll be gone for quite a while. So I think it would be fine in the fridge, but... I actually really wasn't sure what to have, um, and it's a big ham, so my thought is is that we will have the ham. I'll do biscuits and squash. I'm going to also freeze a, the leftover biscuits. I'm going to double the recipe. And then um, whatever, like we'll have homemade pizza on Friday. Saturday we'll do leftovers of the ham. I'll put it into eggs. You know, we'll just kind of, oh, it's my hubby. Okay, and so then here's a little bit of the shopping list. This is just mostly prep for Thanksgiving and just a few meals that we will have um, before we leave for our trip. And then this is my meal prep strategy. So these are the things that I'm hoping to freeze this week and then um, the things that I plan to make. So that's a little look at that week. And then I went ahead and started, oops, and started for next week which is Canadian Thanksgiving so for holidays I really like to make sweet rolls and have sausage and orange juice it's kind of just a tradition for us um, Thanksgiving these are the things that I'm gonna make and bring um, so banana cream pie I make a sweet potato casserole and I'm gonna do rolls um, and acorn squash and then I'll bring some of my applesauce um, and then my husband loves my meatloaf, so I have one in the freezer that I'll pull out for this day. He'll be home visiting. Um, and then, you know, some sides. And then chicken and biscuits. So I will use leftover chicken from the whole chicken I do. I'm going to throw the leftovers of the chicken um, into the freezer. And then I'll make chicken and biscuits, which is his favorite meal. And I'm going to film that. I shared a video or a picture of it on Instagram and people really wanted the recipe so I'm going to share how I do that and then when he's home he always makes pancakes so um, and then this is a bit of like what Thanksgiving prep looks like what I'm going to pull from the freezer for the week and I won't do any shopping because we will be out of town and that'll go into sometime in the following week so that is a little look at my meal planning strategy. So remember when I was talking earlier about how I wanted to do my Christmas planning and I just couldn't um, get into the mood? Fly Lady, commit to having a calm holiday season and she's talking about the Fly Lady Control Journal and I printed mine out last year and I, um, her videos were very helpful with planning the holidays and for it being a stress-free situation for me. Um, so I'm excited to watch. I'm here in the kitchen now. I'm starting on my dishes and getting things ready to go for supper. So here are my roasted veggies for um, dinner. I've got 
four red potatoes, um, cauliflower, some onions, and smashed garlic here. I just added, cut everything up, put it here into a bowl, and added my avocado oil, mixed it all up really well, dumped it out on a sheet pan. I've sprinkled some um, pink Himalayan sea salt, some crack pot pepper, and then um, Italian seasoning on top. I will roast this until they're done. I'm actually putting it in at, um, it's going up to 450 because my chicken will cook at 450. And I don't know, so this shouldn't take that long, but um, yeah, super simple. And <laughs> this is way more than the kids and I will eat. Um, I don't know what I was thinking, except I just got happy with the knife. But I actually really like roasted vegetables like as a leftover and stuff, so we'll just, you know, reheat them on the stove or whatever. So I'm baking up um, the rest of my pack of chicken for the rest of the week for lunches and stuff. Um, and the rest I've stuck in a medium freezer bag and I'm going to toss it in the freezer. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make this soft sprouted bread recipe from Trim Healthy Mama. I've made this several times before. It's really good. I've also made it into rolls. It's really, really delicious. So I've got lots of sprouted flour on hand, so I'm going to go ahead and just start making this. Okay, so my yeast has proofed really nicely. I have got the flour in my kitchen aid, and we're going to go ahead and get everything mixed up. Um, I am watching a Gordon Ramsay three Christmas Christmas dishes to prepare in advance. I'm telling y'all, I am so in Christmas mode. Okay, so here's what the dough looks like. When I pulled it from the um, mixer, it was very sticky, but now it's not. I did some hand kneading. I find with this recipe, I have to add a lot of extra flour. It calls for three cups originally, and then it tells you that you'll need to add between three quarters of a cup to one cup more. I don't know how much I actually ended up adding because I would just scoop it with this spoon here. Um, but I don't know, you want it like so it's not sticky. And I don't know, I found that I had to hand knead it at the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this in half shape it into loaves and then put them in my loaf pan to rise for an hour. Okay, so here's how dinner came out. These are the kids' plates. They're having some roasted veggies, some chicken, applesauce, and some grapes. And I'm having chicken, roasted veggies, and some dill pickles. So here is my final garden haul of the season. Oh, my kids are outside and the puppy is getting into cold stuff. So if you hear him outside, he's just being temperamental. Um, I figured since it snowed yesterday, it was time to finally glean the last of the stuff from the garden. There's still a lot of green tomatoes, but I really don't know what to do with them beyond fried green tomatoes. Um, and they're not going to ripen in time. Or they're not going to ripen inside. I, I've already attempted that over the summer and it didn't really work. So... Anyways, two yellow zucchini, one regular, a whole bunch of yellow tomatoes, two red ones, a couple pickling cucumbers, parsley, English lavender, and some oregano. So I'm going to get these things dried. Some of these tomatoes are still a little green, so I will try and put those on my ledge and hopefully they will, hopefully they'll yellow up a little bit more, but it's a lot of tomatoes. Well, hey guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. As soon as I filmed that last clip, Colt got majorly hurt. He fell into the bricks of our outdoor fire pit and got really scraped up. Screaming bloody murder. Um, the dogs have been chaos today and it was just, it's been a day. I'm so ready to be done. I'm sorry that today wasn't like that fantastic of a vlog. <laughs> just not every day is going to be I guess like a fabulous amazing day um so tomorrow's a new day it'll be busy we've got appointments and all the things to do the kids are going to get ready for bed here soon Aubrey's out with Maple and our dog Elsa um letting them run around and then the kids will clean up their toys and then it's bed my bread is in the oven I will share with you a final clip of what that looks like once that finally comes out I need to sweep my floors, mop them, and then I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to fold some laundry tonight, watch some shows, and 
edit this vlog and get it uploaded. So there you go. Happy Vlogmas day one. Happy October 1st. October, please become a better month than the way that you started. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, I will talk to you guys later and hope you had a good day. Well, to cap off the day, look at how the bread turned out. It like barely rose at all. I don't know what the heck happened. It's like it deflated or something. I mean, it's like only a couple inches high. I don't know. Hard as a rock. Not really. It's actually, this is, it's a dense, it's a dense bread, but <laughs> as Aubrey put it, that won't even really go in the toaster. No, it won't. <laughs>